Worldwide Wisdom About How to Forget Your Ex-Partner It's difficult to let go of someone you still care for. You can't picture living without that individual in your life. This is why some people snap as a result of their despair, lose the drive to live a productive life, or in the worst case, end it. However, the fact that you're here indicates that you want to overcome your sorrow, move forward, and live your life. This is a positive development. It may be a difficult path, but you're on your way to succeeding. Even if you still love your ex, here's 25 tips to help you forget your ex-partner and to move on. Accept that they're gone, but don't dwell on it. You must accept the reality that your relationship is finished because there's nothing you can do to save it. Denying this isn't going to assist you at all. This is why you must train your mind to believe that they will not return. Don't try to pick up the pieces, you'll only break yourself more. Acceptance is the first step. Hoping for that text and playing those unrealistic scenarios in your head won't do you any good. Give yourself some time to heal. Indulging in self-destructive behaviors such as aggressive partying, uncontrolled drinking, and wild makeovers is the most common mistake people make when trying to move on. Though there's no purpose in moaning about what has already been done, it's often beneficial to open up and grieve about it. Allow yourself to heal. Start exercising and eating well. It has such a positive effect on your mental health that it's almost magical. Return to the activities you abandoned because your time was divided between your work schedule and your relationship. Do not spend time reliving those memories. What you had was fantastic. It's good and perhaps beneficial to treasure happy memories. However, if you've recently ended a relationship, this might not be a good idea. Remembering the good parts of a toxic relationship will only keep you stuck in the past and prevent you from moving forward. Do not stalk them. Following a split, you may find yourself wondering what your ex is up to. It lingers in the back of your mind at all times. It's incredibly simple to learn about their whereabouts through social media. Stalking them, on the other hand, will just make you sadder and more concerned. Avoiding your social media profiles until you're ready is the greatest way to deal with a breakup. Don't find excuses to meet them again. It can be difficult to resist the impulse to accidentally run into your ex. You may believe that a single meeting will bring you and your partner back together, but it's time you realize that what can't be fixed throughout the course of a relationship can't be fixed in one encounter. It's all about work on both sides in a relationship, and it's pointless to try to resurrect it after it's died a horrible death. Do not be harsh on yourself. Stop blaming your breakup on the entire world. Accept the fact that the person with whom you're most enraged is you. You despise yourself for putting so much faith in them, for being so naive as to misunderstand their motives. You might desire to indulge in self-destructive habits to punish yourself, like excessive drinking. However, you must keep in mind that everyone makes mistakes. All you have to do now is wipe your tears and keep your crown from sliding off. You have more power than you realize. Try to see the reality. Try to discover the silver lining amid the dismal gray clouds that are covering your head with sadness. What appears to be the end of the world is simply a person who's left your life. Things may appear to be at their worst, but now that you've seen the truth, know that you're capable of doing better. A terrible time provides you with the opportunity to develop a better, happier future. Learn your lessons from the breakup. Everyone gets things wrong, and it's critical to learn from them and avoid them in the future. People come into your life to teach you a lesson, and no matter what you do to keep them from leaving, they will. You can give someone your whole heart and soul, but you should never entirely surrender yourself to them. Don't try to be friends after the breakup. After a split, it's believed that if you remain friends with your ex, you are never truly in love. It will hurt you more than you realize if you try to be friends with them merely to keep seeing them after the split. Trying to turn a ship around once it's sailed is futile. Friendship is a unique relationship that should not be exploited for personal gain. Don't underestimate yourself. Only until you're given the opportunity to prove yourself do you discover what you're truly capable of. Allow the breakup to assist you in growing, discovering your inner self, and discovering your potential. When you start enjoying life to the fullest, you'll be shocked at what you're capable of. Take time out for your hobbies. Now is the ideal moment to complete all the tasks you put off previously since you were preoccupied with your significant other. Whether it's painting, basketball, or programming, taking time for yourself and completing the task you've always wanted to accomplish would do you a world of good. Spend time with your family and friends. After a breakup, being alone can contribute to despair. You avoid trusting individuals in situations like these. This is, however, the ideal time to reconnect with individuals in your life who will always be there for you. Spending time with your loved ones can help you clear away your thoughts and push the black clouds away. 
realized that Disney life and real life are very different. We're forced to build castles in the air by the entertainment industry. Real life and cinematic life are frequently confused, and we want things in our lives to work as well as they do in books and movies. When things in your life, and more significantly, your relationship, don't go as planned, you can get depressed. It's critical to have a realistic perspective after a breakup and recognize that things don't always work out, and that's okay. Because the termination of a terrible relationship makes room for new and better things to flourish in its place. Cut all communication lines. If you think that contacting them every now and then or drunk calling them won't hurt you, you're wrong. Keeping in touch with them will keep you stuck in the past and prevent you from moving forward. Block their phone number, erase all their emails and texts, and shred their letters. Avoid asking about them from friends. After you've broken off all communication with your ex, you can ask your mutual friends for information about them. That urge must be resisted. The goal is to keep physically, mentally, and emotionally away from them. Get rid of everything that reminds you of them. Maybe you have their clothes from the first time you both traveled together, or the train ticket from the first time you both went together. Now is the moment to let go in not only their possessions, but also the memories you keep returning to. Let your wanderlust take over. Now is the ideal moment to start planning that solo trip you've always wanted to take. Traveling alone to unfamiliar places can provide the mental refreshment you require. It'll teach you that the only person who can make you happy is yourself. Redecorate your environment. An idle mind is a devil's workshop. All the time you spend thinking about all the memories you shared with your ex is time wasted. Make the most of it. Redecorate your house or room to create a fresh environment that's unrelated to them. Shopping, obviously. Being alone at home might lead to feelings of worry and anxiety. Why not go do something you enjoy? The way to go is to go shopping. Make a list of everything you've ever wanted to buy and treat yourself to some of it. It could be a form of compensation for sticking it out after the separation. Try to stay positive and take part in a healthy activity. A breakup can make you feel weak in the heart and mentally unstable, leading to thoughts of self-destruction. However, accepting that whatever happens is for the best can assist you in making a fresh start. Attempt to keep any unpleasant thoughts from entering your mind. To keep your mind fresh for a new beginning, practice yoga, exercise regularly, and eat a balanced diet. Do not hurt yourself in any way. Self-harm is the simplest way to vent your rage. The majority of people do so by cutting themselves or drinking or using drugs in large quantities. However, no agony seems to compare to the anguish of your heartbreak. Self-harm, on the other hand, might have a negative impact on your self-esteem. In times like this, it's important to remember that you're a self-sufficient spirit who doesn't require anyone else to survive. Being in a toxic relationship does not make you less valuable or change who you are. Have faith in yourself and collect the courage to start over. Forgive yourself and forget your ex. It's easy to say forgive and forget, especially when it's about someone who's betrayed your trust and hopes. Forgiving your ex, on the other hand, may be the key to truly letting go and finding happiness on your own. It could make you feel bad to see them with someone else. However, if you concentrate only on your life and building a better future for yourself, you will find yourself wishing your ex nothing but happiness. That way, if your paths cross again, it won't bother you. Do not date until you're ready. If you try to move on too quickly, you can end up dating the wrong person again. Love is unique, and a rebound should never be confused with love. You can open up your heart to love again and start dating the day you're able to appreciate yourself for who you are and forgive your ex. Fall in love with yourself. You are more special than you realize. Make up for all the time you neglected yourself in order to pay attention to your ex by lavishing yourself with attention. It will be easier to move forward in life if you have a healthy relationship with yourself. Enjoy your own company. Just because you enjoy spending time with someone does not imply you should stop doing the things you enjoy doing. It's critical to take care of yourself and value your free time. Charity begins at home, with self-loving laying the groundwork for loving others. Here at the end, I'd like to say, it's important to remember, seeking help is never something you should be ashamed of. If it gets too much for you, I encourage you to seek professional help. Investing in yourself is the safest investment you can make, and it always pays off. Allowing suffering to keep you from living is a mistake. Live for those who are always there for you. Live in order to achieve your goals. Live your life for yourself. Love yourself. You are what you are, so if someone's not happy with the real you, they don't deserve you, so you are better alone than with some toxic person. 
Making mistakes and learning from them is an essential aspect of being human.